Good morning folks, There's nothing too demanding today with this one. This is the last one I'm doing till middle of next week. Uh, meadow, I love meadows. But they all end up differently. I don't know if people like them. This is an oil painting using uh, mostly Winton colours. Uh, I've got a cadmium yellow, cadmium red, ultramarine and a touch of black just to extend the green, the range of greens, so I'll put my white out. Now what I'm doing is painting on my favourite uh, surface, it's uh, MDF, it's a medium fibre, MDF, medium density fibre board, it's very thin, uh, right. two millimetre thick, it's the stuff that uh, backs uh, watercolours or photographs and I've left one side up with the glass tape or just some sandpaper with a block. I use a block because you can get some purchase to the uh, coarse. You need really coarse to, to break up the surface. It's a beautiful surface to work on. I primed it with, with PVA glue diluted about one in one. Uh, so we'll, uh, my usual, I'll put the horizon in with, with the trees first. Now I'm using um, some walnut oil, diluted. Now, walnut oil, walnut alkyd medium. It's quite pricey, so I dilute that with, uh, with the uh, walnut oil from Sainsbury's. It's the cooking stuff or for salads and stuff just to make it go further. The alkyd in the uh, oil helps it all dry and it dries to a lovely gloss and it will go hard after a few days but it's touch dry within a day which is lovely and it starts to dry and the weather's very warm now thank goodness. Uh, so I'll uh, mix up some some oil, a bit of, bit of yellow, a bit of red so just three colour painting, but I'm I'm using the, a bit of black just to to extend the range of. Oh, that's not very good, is it? I didn't mean to put any white on that. Oh well, let's clean me, uh, clean it off. Let's tighten up a bit. Clean me brush again. No, I didn't want white on that. I want yellow, touch of red. I just put in plenty of uh, media of, of oil. It's a great exercise using a limited palette, three primaries. I'll modify all this when it as it dries off. I just want to get some paint on the uh, on the board. Now oh, let's have and I'll put in some blue and red. Fill some shadow. Got some nice dark in there in the in the uh, grassy areas. So I get pleasant shapes here. Put a bit of a bit of blue in the background there. I think blue and red. Bit of white. <coughs> right, red, yellow, black. Good, a larger tree over here. 
but I want to get the grasses. There may be mm, this is probably a bit high. I can even have a little path going going through. Right, I'll put a bit in for the sky now. So some white, some yellow, some red. I'm running out of space on my bit of greaseproof paper here. So a nice colour sky, colourful sky. So you get all these peachy colours. You can go yellow towards the yellow, you can go towards the red. But loads of oil, almost running down the down the board. But this MDF is, is lovely. It's very durable. So you can you can make up your skies however you like. You don't have to copy anything. You make your skies your own. A bit darker there, I think. Dark or orangey. Just trying to mix something. I can't. I can't show you the the mixing of this. It's got a bit of green in it there. We're going to have a sort of a sun city. Load of oil. Right, let's do a bit of foreground now. Uh, You see the lovely softness you can get with this uh, way of painting. It's a traditional way. I mean, it's not nothing that I've invented. Right, let's get some blue and red to put in some shadowy areas and we can then go over them with the lighter colours now I never start off with a a finished idea in my head. Just cover them, just cover. I, I'm doing this so, so I can get some darker areas in the grasses that I'm going to put in. But, I'll, but you see, if you put dark in, you can go light. And the light will sh will will glow against it. Mm. 
I've got a frame for for this. It's running down there. That's how thick it is. Good practice says that you work from lean to fat, so you start off thin, work fat. But when you're working Western way, it doesn't really matter. <coughs> I'm quite liking that, the idea of that. Uh, <coughs> I'll get some light on that. Uh, Right, so I want some, some higher grasses, just sort of sticking up above it all. I know a nice load of colour in this. And what you put on it won't soak in to what's behind. It'll let it show through but it it, it stays where it's put. That's the lovely thing about, about oil painting or well, painting with oil, using oil paints to paint in oil with a lot of oil. We, we, we could just carry on Soft, soft, soft. I think, look, I wouldn't put my, my name in the same breath as Renoir, but Renoir used, obviously used a lot of oil to get his wonderful softness. And that's what we're doing here. A load of oil. Just mixing up some colours here. More red. Sort that out, all that murk in the trees. I'll put some detail back in the trees, but I just want to dry off a little bit. You can hear in my voice how excited I am about this oil painting, Lark. <clears throat> There's my oil going, Ooh, getting a bit low there. Right, a bit more. <clears throat> See how could resin going in into my pot, and a bit more of this. Salad dressing oil. Yeah, yummy, 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 yummy. Right, uh, I go, I'm going to put in some bluey, ready stuff. 
stuff in uh, the foreground. Uh, nice in the foreground here, a bit more blue. Put a path there. Not sure where that path is going to go. Go along there. I'm going to use one brush. These are just ordinary bristle brushes. Um, now the pathway, so we look fairly light. soft. There's a bit of a path there. Already blue. Right, that's uh, I'll go for this brush now just to get some. Uh, A bit of green in there. So this brush is a bit, it's just an old bristle brush that does lovely things. Get some greens, you know. Just keep banging away, blending, softening. Right, now um, I used to stipple these, but I don't really know if that would work, but let's have a look. Plenty of oil. Oh, 
it works, doesn't it? This mixing technique's a bit, but um, just uh, trying it out, really. Not sure I like that, really. I think I prefer the gentle blending. I used to do that, that on my finished paintings for the photo, like the trees in the little courtyards. But I used um, sort of a lot of fast drying linseed oil. So I'll just change that brush. I want to go back and sort that barrier out there. So white, red, yellow, oil, all red. There's my tube of yellow. <coughs> Sorry about the watercolours of late, but um, I'm enjoying doing all this. And I will get back to the watercolours. <coughs> mostly on Patreon. I'm trying to get a, an audience of oil painters going, really. Because we, uh, we have one extreme with the oil painting. We have the Michael James Smith, who's a fantastic, super realist demonstrator. I mean, I knew him, he wasn't demonstrating. He was, we were both selling in the same gallery, but he was doing a lot better than I was. Oh, I mean, he's a fantastic artist, and I would highly recommend him. There's another young. Johnny, he goes under the uh, acronym of J.M. Arts. He's, he, he's doing some interesting things with watercolour. He's painting on wood, but doing a, 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 quite an elaborate drawing. Um, and um, f then going over with... Um, hold on, I'm thinking here. He's using some sort of uh, an etcher, the heat, not gun, just a, uh, a point. And he, and he goes over the drawing very carefully with, with it, so he burns a, the drawing. I think maybe that, I'm going to try a bit of, bit of bluey green in there. Let's try that. Put in some uh, some light there. Just catching the light. It's a bit chocolate boxy, but I am enjoying myself.
Mm, not sure about that. Can come back with my oil. Get that red back. Get some, some nice green in there. I'm using a bit of touch of black. I'll put in some air holes in, in this. I need some more dark on the left hand side. Plenty of red in this. The red complements the green. And then if you put it down, it looks like shadow under the uh, all the the leaves. See, this is, this saves um, painting every leaf. Have a bit of warmer, warmer green in there. I've just got to do some more around there. Right, let's. let's Coming on. I'm not using any black in these shadow areas. I don't want it to go dull. I'm just using the black just to help the greens along. I know you're a tiny bit of that. Okay, let's go back and do some work in, in here now. We want a bit more shadow in the edge here. You have to have the darks so that you can get the lights.
Ja, ik zo zat me in de lo. Ze waren in de zo. Daar ben. Moet ik put some I'm running out of space. Very little paint in there. Let's cover off some of that. Oops. A bit of light coming through there. Sort of abstract, isn't it? Now I'm going to get some colour in here. Right, let me put that in my watercolour water. <coughs> I've got a bit of, bit of uh, light. A little bit of dark shadow.
Now, yeah. uh, what next? Um, want a small brush, which is here. Um, put in a couple of figures, so I've got to put them in scale white. Nice lot of oil because it won't come off the brush otherwise. Hmm, where's my stick? That's not registering, is it? Um, this is the downside of it being wet, is that you can't rest on it. Get some love. Um. Let's try blue, blue hat. Right, I've lost the trousers in Oh well that'll do, that's that's not bad, is it? <coughs> um a few white bits. Well, I can't do much more to that. <coughs> I just want to just do some more in the uh,
and then I need to put in a few air, air holes. Uh, Does it really work? Hmm. It's a bit obvious, isn't it? Where's my colour gone? It's a bit better. A bit more red, a bit more shadow back in there. Uh, then we're just about done. So I'm going to put the brushes. Now, just a little. I've got another stick here, this is better than this one. My wife made it, it's a homemade mild stick. I think that's what you call them. I don't know where it is. I heard it the other day. Uh, I've just, I think I'm going to try to put in some. Just, just a couple of little bits and pieces.
just to show a few little twiggy things. Oh, well, that's just a hint of something going on. Show my hands. Right, uh, I'll go to put it in a frame. So bear with me. So I've got the frame here, but I might have to uh, put a couple of tacks in it just to hold it in the frame. No, I'll have to just put it, put a couple of tacks in it, so there we be. Just to hold it. I'm going to be falling all over my knees. Right. Okay. One. Two. I've been painting on watercolour paper, all my ones I don't like anymore. Which is a lovely surface. Oh, there we are. One little painting, a little chocolate boxy painting. I'll move the camera back. Oh, ouch! That's my head. Well, there we are. So we've got a got a path. It's a bit bit even. It needs to be just. Uh, roughed up a little bit, so I will do that. That's better. Right, okay, well I'm going to upload that in a, a while. Um, that side is darker, there might be some shapes that are not particularly good like right there. Okay, well you can fiddle about with these for hours. But it's a, a basic oil painting. I've got some horrible thumbprints there, so we'll change those. So there we are. I had no idea what I was going to do when I sat down in front of it. It's turned out to totally different. Uh, maybe we should just put another thing in here. I do. You need to. You do need to have some. some air holes for the birds to fly through but with this type of painting it's a bit tricky. Right okay thanks for watching folks bye bye.